Bismillah. So we discussed uh, how to use the PLC and the HMI to use it in manual control, on off control. Now we reach a point where we discuss the V control. We already saw this slide uh, from the Arduino videos. Uh, it's exactly the same the P control done by multiplying an error by a gain. And the higher the, the gain, the less is the steady state error. And there will be always a steady state error. And what happens if the gain is too high? We saw that all in Arduino. Now we will see it in the PLC. Uh, my HMI I created in the PLC has the set point that I will enter. And you will notice it's in a float. So I can enter a value uh, 5 point something. Uh, the P gain. Uh, I can enter any value for the for the gain. So let's see if I enter a high value, what will happen? And this is my process value. What we are seeing here is actually uh, the the trend, so that I can see it. Uh, I can see the PV and the set point and how they are relating. So let's go to the PLC. So this is uh, I'm now in the PLC environment. I'll go to the main, and you notice that the value. Uh, my screen is a three, so it's calling the on off. So I'll press uh, the P in, in, uh, in the HMI, and you'll notice right away uh, the value of the screen number has changed. So now I'm calling uh, the P control function. So I'll see what happened here. I'm also uh, reading the value of the analog input and uh, normalize the scale it and put it in PV. And as I said in the previous video, I can do this once uh, in the main, and, but I'm doing here to show you uh, each step. Uh, what I'm doing here is the set point uh, minus the PV. So I'm calculating the error. Remember, the error is always set point minus PV. And now I'm multiplying this by the P gain. This is how the P control is done, is multiplying uh, the error by a gain. And uh, I'm having my P out. And I'm changing this P out uh, from uh, 0 to 100%. The value I'll get, uh, I'll put it from 0 to 27,000 and give it to QW80. Uh, so let's go to that watch table. And in the watch table, uh, I'll just add some new values to see them. So I'll add here new values. I'll select uh, the P set point. So P gain, the value I will enter, and P C out is the output. P set point, this is what I'm looking for. And let's also add the error. Let's see how much is the error now. Because we will notice there will always be an error. So there is an error now. Uh, my PV now is 0 0.6. My output, uh, my, my set point is at zero. That's why I'm having this error. Now, I'll put the gain to 1, because if I put it to 0, nothing will happen. So uh, my P gain, I'll enter 1. OK, it's done. And now I'll choose a set point. I'll choose 5.5. 5.5. Enter. I chose 5.2. I'll keep it 5.2. What happened is now uh, I'm having an error of 1.7, and you can see the intensity of the LED is really uh, little, but it's not flashing. So it's really a P control, but I'm having an error. That's definite. 1.77. My PV is 3.4, while my set point, I said it, I want it to be 5.2. I'll just delete those, not to be confused with the on-off ones. I'll keep the thing that I'll need only. So you can notice the PV is really 
less than my uh, set point so that's why i'm having an error let's see what happens if i increase the p gain remember we said if i increase the p gain i'm expecting the steady state error will decrease so i'll change this to value of two now you notice my error has decreased really my pv now is four my uh my uh set point is 5.2 so i'm having less and you notice also uh, the 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 light the intensity of the led is a little higher and we can check it actually the analog output is has a bigger value let's see what happens if i enter another let's say five when i entered five you can see the error dropped to 0.5 but remember, no matter what value I entered for the P gain, I will always have an error. Uh, the HMI actually now show me the trend, uh, how the set point uh, and how the PV is moving around the set point. Now, since we are here, let's check what will happen if I enter a very high value for a P gain. So I will enter a value of 111. And as you noticed, my PV is actually going around the set point. And you notice that my LED is now flashing as we expected. And as we said in the previous video, uh, that uh, a P gain with a very high, uh, a P control, sorry, with very high P gain is really an on off control which makes sense if i take a small error and multiply it by this number i'm expecting to have a full output so we notice that now the led is really flashing so till some point your your system will be uh will your led will will flash so this is all about uh, p control next we will deal with a pi control